God bless you. I just wanted to encourage you today for that person that is waiting for their loved one to get it right and come to Christ. Sometimes we'll see them take about three steps forward and then 10 steps back. And I'll give you an example. My mom, for eight years, she watched me do that. I would go to church with her every once in a while just to kind of appease her. And God would touch me. And I would be in the car having conversations about the Lord on the way home from church with her. And a few days later, I was back fighting with my son's dad, doing drugs, going to jail, whatever you could think of, I did it. And my mom, I'm sure she was discouraged. But, you know, she kept praying. And she kept believing that I was called of God. And, you know, sometimes um, we see people in their mess and we have a tendency to get disappointed and angry. You know, we think this is it. This is it. We see God touch them. We think this is it. They've surrendered and then they go back. And, you know, I did that for eight years. I couldn't make up my mind. I didn't trust God enough to really surrender my life to him. So I would read the Bible. I would talk about the Lord here and there, but I was so stuck in bondage and it took a lot of years for me to finally get sick of the life I was living. And you know, when Daniel in the Bible, God had a message for him and he started praying and the principalities over that city, it took those angels 21 days to get through and to deliver that message that God had for Daniel. So just don't give up hope. You know, there were so many times that I bluffed on God. I just played games and it was because I was just so messed up. And, you know, God would still honor my prayers, even in the midst of him knowing that I was going to bluff on him, that I was not going to really surrender. Um, there was a time where I was strung out on, like, morphine and Vicodin and all these prescription pills. For years, I was strung out. I would be forging prescriptions, and I couldn't even sell them because I loved it so much that I would take all the pills. And so I was that bound. And I remember I would try to get off the pills and I would get sick like a heroin addict. That's how serious it was. And I remember one time I was all by myself in the living room and I said, God, I really want to serve you. I really want to get off these pills. And if you would just make it where I don't get sick, I promise I'll surrender my life to you and I'll start serving you. Just please don't let me go through the sickness of kicking. So guess what? I threw the pills away. Three days later, nothing, not even a runny nose, no sickness, nothing. I felt fine. And you know what? A week later, I was back on it. I totally bluffed. God knew it, but he still showed me his love. He still showed me his kindness. And if we could be that way towards the ones that we're waiting on, if we could show God's long-suffering heart towards them and not get angry and keep praying. And sometimes, you know, we got to keep a distance just for our own peace, and that's okay. But we don't give up on them. We don't get angry. We keep praying. And I'm proof that God will deliver.